In the trailer for Godzilla x Kong The New Empire, audiences can spot a scene where Kong meets a mysterious young ape. This little one is mentioned in the leaked storyline as Suko. Kong's first encounter with him occurs in the depths of the Hollow Earth, within the territories of the Scar King, set to be the main villain of the New Empire. The movie will explore how Kong is driven by the desire to unlock all mysteries and finally face the dreadful truth that made his ancestors flee to Skull Island. Alongside scientists from the Monarch organization, Kong aims to find any surviving kin, but in doing so, releases an ancient evil that has been biding its time to break free. This malevolence is embodied by the Scar King, who looks like a massive red orangutan with long arms, leading an entire army of gigantic apes under his command. Yet the film's most enigmatic character is the little chimpanzee, Suko. Despite his small size compared to others, Suko possesses unique abilities that make him a key character in the plot. His naive curiosity and unexpected wisdom play an important role in the development of the relationship between Kong and the scientists of the monarch organization. Suko can communicate with Kong not just through gestures and facial expressions, but also through a psychic connecting channel, which allows him to convey important knowledge about the Hollow Earth and their species history to Kong. This connection with Suko opens Kong's eyes to ancient legends and prophecies that had been forgotten over time. It turns out that Suko is a descendant of an ancient lineage that once held knowledge about the key to destroying the Scar King and his army. This key is hidden in a specific artifact somewhere within the depths of the Hollow Hollow Earth, and it is Suko who leads Kong to its discovery. As the story progresses, Kong's attitude towards Suko shifts from mere curiosity to deep affection as Kong begins to see him not just as a saviored relative but as a symbol of hope for their entire species. Together, they embark on a dangerous journey through the Hollow Earth, facing various monsters and obstacles, including the loyal servants of the Scar King. Recently, many insiders have reported that the New Empire will serve as a sort of prequel to a new grand trilogy within the MonsterVerse and will even kick off a series of spin-offs. Essentially, Warner Brothers and Legendary have a long-term plan for the franchise which continues to be profitable at the box office. One of the nearest spin-offs will be a feature movie titled Son of Kong, which insiders claim is slated for release in 2026. The plot is said to significantly diverge from the original film released back in 1933. The first Son of Kong was a sequel to the original King Kong, and its story unfolded shortly after the events of that movie. In it, explorers return to Skull Island, where Kong was previously found. There, scientists encounter a charming and small white gorilla whom they name Baby Kong. Unlike his father, he is friendly to all humans. Although Son of Kong did not achieve the same commercial success as King Kong, critics often note its lighter and more comedic tone. Nonetheless, it remains an important part of the franchise and is interesting as an early example of giant monster cinema. Although the new Son of Kong will have nothing in common with the century-old movie in terms of plot and tone, the basis of the story could very well take root. Suko appears quite harmless, and it's unlikely his storyline will end without being explored. Some even speculate about a possible plot for the spin-off. It all starts after the events of the New Empire, in the mysterious and impenetrable depths of the Hollow Earth where secrets slumber unexplored by humans, Kong discovers a baby named Suko. From the first glance, Kong feels an inexplicable connection to him and decides to take Suko under his protection. Soon, it becomes clear that Suko possesses unique abilities that can influence the energies of the Hollow Earth. His presence awakens ancient forces that have been hiding in the depths of the planet for centuries. However, Suko's discovery attracts attention not only from Kong, Kong, dark forces, aiming to use the power of the Hollow Earth for their own selfish purposes, begin an active hunt for the baby. Kong, recognizing the importance of the mission to protect Suko, decides to take him out of the Hollow Earth to find answers about his origin and purpose. Suko slowly reveals his abilities, aiding Kong not just in battles but also in understanding the ancient connections between all beings of the Hollow Earth. It is reported that they will encounter other monsters that have not yet appeared in the MonsterVerse. Most likely, this means Warner Brothers will simply invent new monsters for its canon as they did with Scar King. They cannot simply add more familiar characters to fans due to copyright restrictions. This move to introduce new monsters expands the MonsterVerse, offering fresh narratives and challenges for Kong and Suko. Their journey outside the Hollow Earth becomes not just a quest for survival, but a deeper exploration into the lore and history of Kong's species and the ancient powers of their world. Along the way, Kong and Suko's bond deepens, showcasing a dynamic 
dynamic of mentorship and familial connection that adds emotional depth to their adventure. As they navigate these challenges, the duo's efforts to uncover Suko's origins and destiny reveal broader themes about the balance of nature and the responsibility of power. Suko's unique abilities, key to their quest, become a beacon of hope and a target for those who wish to exploit the Hollow Earth secrets for their own gain. The inclusion of new monsters serves not only as a narrative device to test Kong and Suko, but also enriches the monster verse with a broader ecosystem of creatures, each with their origins, abilities, and roles within the mythology of the universe. This approach allows for endless storytelling possibilities, opening the door to future films that delve deeper into the mysteries of the Hollow Earth, the origins of its inhabitants, and the cosmic balance they maintain. As Kong and Suko face these adversaries, their story becomes a symbol of resilience and guardianship, highlighting the importance of protecting one's home and loved ones against external threats. Their journey filled with epic battles, discovery, and growth ultimately lays the groundwork for Suko's role in the MonsterVerse, setting the stage for new adventures that explore the consequences of their actions and the unfolding destiny of the Hollow Earth's inhabitants. The climax of their adventure is a confrontation with a villain who aims to capture Suko to activate a powerful artifact capable of changing the face of the Earth. In this battle, the fates of not only our heroes but also the entire world are decided. Ultimately, after a series of fierce battles and profound revelations about the nature of power and friendship, Kong and Suko together stand against the threat, saving the Hollow Earth and the entire world from destruction. Suko finds a new family and home, while Kong affirms his status not just as the King of Skull island but as a protector of all living beings on Earth. This positions Son of Kong as a logical continuation of the MonsterVerse franchise. Indeed, Warner Brothers and Legendary considered the possibility of creating a Son of Kong movie three years ago. Following the successful release of Godzilla vs. Kong, which achieved high box office revenues despite the pandemic, the studio discussed continuing the series with director Adam Wingard. Plans for other films were discussed, including the mention of Son of Kong. Wingard, who had previously worked on creating and world building for Godzilla vs. Kong, including storylines about the Hollow Earth, was actively involved in developing ideas for future MonsterVerse projects. Although the exact details and schedule of the project were not known, the presence of such plans underscores the studio's interest in further developing the universe. Wingard's involvement and his active participation in the development of future projects indicate a thoughtful approach to expanding this cinematic universe. The plans, while still under wraps, suggest that the studio is keen on exploring new stories and characters, potentially enriching the MonsterVerse with deeper narratives and more complex world building. However, Son of Kong has not materialized and instead we will see the new Empire, but the latest information reports that the spin-off is still in the studio's plans and is scheduled for release in 2026. This suggests a continued commitment to expanding the MonsterVerse, offering audiences new explorations into its rich and dynamic world. The anticipation for Son of Kong reflects the enthusiasm for further exploration of these iconic characters and their stories, promising to deliver more action, deeper lore, and a continuation of the beloved saga that fans around the world have come to enjoy. Subscribe.